Hello everybody, this is Mama Bear and it's been the longest since I don't vlog so I'm going to go ahead and vlog right now as much as I can because I have some extra free time. And trust me, when you live with a toddler, it is pretty hard to find free time for yourself. So, today I wanted to talk about potty training. And the reason why I hadn't done a video about potty training before is because my toddler wasn't really potty trained. And I was in the process of potty training him, but nothing had really worked on with him. So that I can really talk about it and give you, you know, my advice and show you my experience on potty training. I tried to find videos on potty training a lot, and I couldn't find any in the whole YouTube, in the whole internet. They kept talking about having cues and things like that, and I just didn't know what cues, you know, where they or some other people told me you don't need to wait for cues you can just train your toddler and it would happen I was like oh my god I'm a first time mom and I really don't know what to do the only thing I knew was that I really really wanted to get my son potty trained ASAP because I wanted him to be ready I work in a daycare and I see so many mommies and daddies that don't potty train their kids on time so many children that are three and four and they're still not potty trained I didn't want my son to do that my mom kept telling me how in, back in Cuba, when we used to leave, the kids would be potty trained by the time they were 12 months. I'm like, how could you do that? She said, the reason is, in this country, you have disposable diapers and you have so many options that it's not necessary for you to potty train the kids on time. They could wait. I didn't want my son to be using diapers that long. But surely we use cloth diapers. I want him to be over cloth diapers and I want him to be independent. I want him to get as much fun, you know, doing it, and I want him to experience everything when he goes to school and not have to worry about a teacher changing diapers, you know? Oopa, baby, oopa, oopa. Let's get up. Oopa, oopa. Watch mommy making a video for you, okay? We're gonna behave until mommy finish? Yeah? You're just a good baby. training tip number one you do not need cues that your child needs to be potty trained in my personal experience everything in here is my personal experience okay potty training tip number two you can potty train your kid from day one believe it or not a newborn could be potty trained if you really want to potty training um, tip number three Stop being lazy. You don't need extra time for you to do it. You can do it with whatever little time you have. Potty training number four tip or tip number four. Your baby will eventually give you cues of what is working on with him or her and what is not working on. So it's very important for you to watch out for those cues and pay attention, you know, because it's in the little details. They don't know how to talk, so they'll let you know in different ways, okay? So right now, I'm going to show you two ways that you could potty train. One is for children that are most definitely, depending on, their, on their size, 12 and over. And one is for children of any time. If you're going to start potty training your child when he's really young, like from day one, not day one necessarily because you're in the hospital, but, you know, from, you know, his first month of life, it's not necessary to have any extra accessories. It's just necessary for you to open his little leg tab. Go. Remember to take the diaper off and just listen for it. Make sure he has liquid on his or her tummy. And then he'll just go to the bathroom and do it, you know? Do it um, often. Maybe every 10 minutes, every 20 minutes until you can figure out when your child goes to play. Okay? And then soon, he will just start showing signs of when he has to go. Now, I started potty training my son when he was 13 months. And it didn't work out. Why? Because I thought I didn't have enough time. I didn't do it often. He was going to daycare full time. He couldn't get potty training daycare because he was too young for that. And then when we were at home, he got here at 6. It was dinner time. Then it was, you know, story time. Then he was... Not time, I mean sleeping time, and so there was no time for potty training. Run! That's tip number five. That is a lie. There's always time, and I figured it out. 
So what we'll do is that I will get home at 6 o'clock with my son. His dinner will be ready around 6.30. So I will see him on the high chair. He would have his food. And then we will go to the potty. And I would see him on this little potty right here that I have. Let me see if you can see. It's a Diego potty. It doesn't really do anything. I got it for $25 on a local store named Kid City. It's a decent on and off. And then he, he, ha he came with stickers. He didn't really care about the stickers much. I think he was too young for the sticker thing. So I would try to be happy when he went to the party. And I would try to clap and, you know, give him a song, give him a cookie or whatever. But he didn't like it. He felt uncomfortable. Every time he went on the party in this party, he would cry so much that it frustrated me. And I started thinking that maybe he was too young to be party trained. So I stopped doing it. I would only do it on and off. Once he reached to be 15 months old, I realized that it was time for him to be potty trained. He was just so old for that. I saw so many kids being potty trained so young. I was like, we got to do it. So I changed. I got this little thing which worked wonders on my son. Over this one. This one ah, didn't work for us. It might work for your child. It just didn't work for us. This one is soft, it looks pretty, it has handles on it that he could reach, it has a protector thing um, for him because he's a boy, and it could go on the toilet. And he was so interesting about actually going to the toilet, because he saw mommy and daddy going to the toilet. Tip number six, make sure your child watches you using a potty, okay? Um, you don't actually have to go potty in front of him, but sit on the toilet. Make sure he knows it's okay. Because kids love to do what mommy and daddy are doing. And if you're doing it, he should do it too. So that's another nice little tip that I did for him. And so I would come home, fit my son, put him in the potty. Boom! Day one, he went potty every time I took him. Sometimes he would potty on himself because I didn't want to take him to a toilet on enough time. It's okay. doesn't matter. You had an accident, make sure he understands it's okay. Don't prize him, but remind him that he should party on the toilet. Take him to the toilet, take him there for two or three minutes, even though he's not going to party because he just wants to party. Okay, we love to go to the party, right? So I got him party trained in two days. Can you imagine that? That is really awesome. In two days, I got him to a routine. I would see him on the potty every 20 minutes. I would make sure that he had a little bit of liquid before he goes to the potty, okay? During the weekdays, we would come home, have dinner, go to the potty. He, I would, tip number seven, show him how to flush the toilet. And that really got him interested. He was told enough to stand and flush the toilet by himself. So he got so excited watching everything go away and watching the water come down. And we would clap and see and get excited. And then after he was done flushing, I would put his little undies up and then make sure he was able to pick a snack. And if your child is not old enough to pick it up, pick a good, delicious, healthy cookie for him that he could have every time he goes to the party. And that was something else that would get him excited. When he didn't went to the party, I would not prize him. I would just make sure that he knew pee pee and caca toilet. Pee pee and caca toilet. And we would just say that all over and over and over. By the second day, he would tell me, Mama, caca. Or Mama, pee pee. Or sometimes he wouldn't just stick. He would just go to the bathroom by himself. Tip number seven keep the bathroom door open. Have a protector so that there's nothing that he could reach um, or she could reach over that could be harmful. Always be watching your child, but keep the toilet door open. Because guess what? My child didn't point it at me to make sure I knew he was going to the party. My child didn't just hold on and make any weird faces to make sure that he went to the party. Sometimes he would say pee pee or khaki. Sometimes he wouldn't say it. Sometimes what he would do is stand on the door of the bathroom and start saying caca, 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 even though he wasn't really going caca, he was just going pee pee. Sometimes he won't say anything, he would just go inside the toilet and look at me funny like, like letting me know he has to go, you know. 
and then I would see on him, see him on the toilet. You see this little baby, and it would totally work. So you guys, this is all I have to share for you on potty training my 16 month old, and it really worked. Like I him potty training two weeks. The main thing is number one, keep a routine. Number two, prize your son. Number three. Pay attention to the cues that your son or daughter is going to develop for you, okay? So it is possible to have someone who's under 18 months potty training in no time. Good luck.